have fun. Don't look for me. Don't look for me in the, in the water. I don't get in the ocean. A couple of reasons. One, every time I swim at the beach, I'm amazed at all of the parts of my body sand can find. <laughs> Keep forgetting I have nooks and crannies. <laughs> Want to go for a refreshing dip in the surf, and I come out all crunchy. It's not just a guy thing either. Women too, man. You've seen them. Little teeny tiny bikini, big old swinging bag of sand dangling around out there. Oh. <laughs> That's so sexy. I'm trying something new though, and this, this got me kind of excited. Instead of rinsing it off, I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm trying to make pearls. It's a little uncomfortable, but if you look at the bright side, everybody's going to get a pretty cool Christmas gift this year. And I think we can all agree your mom just appreciates the gift that much more, you know, when, when you make it yourself. <laughs> oh, my God, Tommy, it's a pearl on a hair. Look at that. Oh, my God. The other reason, the other reason I don't swim in the ocean is I'm deadly afraid of getting attacked by a shark, man. That freaks me out, you know. I lived in California. That used to happen all the time. And it would, whenever it happened, it would be all over the news, you know. And they're interviewing all these shark experts, of course, trying to placate everybody's fears. And one time I heard this guy gets on the news. He goes, oh, yeah, you're, you're more likely to get bit by a pig than bit by a shark. And I thought, great. Now I've got to worry about pigs. I didn't even know they liked to swim, you know. <laughs> I mean, look, if you're attacked by a shark, you get shark bit bragging rights. Somebody goes, ah, how'd you get the scar? You go, okay, I was swimming out there, and this great big man-eater, great white, pops up, and he just chomped on me right there, and I punched him like three times, right in the eyeball, and I went, back off, sharky, and he <laughs> took off, and I'm okay, whatever. Shark bit bragging rights, man, but what, what are you going to tell somebody if you get bit by a pig? <laughs> Gee, Ricky, what happened? Okay. I swim in. You're not going to believe this, okay? <laughs> but I, I'm swimming, and all of a sudden, a pop this pig, it was a gigantic sea pig, and I seen him coming towards me, that curly tail just cutting through the white caps, you know, I tried swimming, them little hooves were churning up the surf, oh, the fast little pig, man, he was gaining on me, because I heard him just, it was, it was horrifying, it was like a scene out of that movie Jowls, something like that. Way. I appreciate you laughing too. Thanks. I appreciate that. I've been doing comedy a long time, and I'll tell you what, it just works better when people laugh. <laughs> Feel free to not laugh. Don't don't laugh. If you don't think it's funny, don't laugh. I don't, you know, because when you laugh, you're my barometer, and then I think whatever it is that I've said is funny, and I'm not kidding, I'll tell it again. I, w I will. I'll tell the same stupid joke to a different crowd someplace else, and they'll just sit there like bumps on logs, and I'll have to go, oh, folks on a Voyager set me up. <laughs> so, uh, I have a great job, man. The, the, the downside to this job is I travel, and I'm a single parent. Um, got a daughter who, well, she's 16 now, so I don't miss her at all. Uh, <laughs> oh. She is just so tedious. Oh, and you know, I, I don't think I'll ever have another child. I really don't. And you know, I might have a boy child if somebody said, I can guarantee you it'll be a boy child. I might go, well, okay, maybe. <laughs> but I do not have it in me to raise another girl child because they are scary. <laughs> they're like real women, but they're littler. <laughs> they're just full of crazy. 
I mean, if it was a son, you know, a son gets all up in your face. You just go, hey, shut up, pal. Think you can take the old man now, huh? But girls, what do you do? You're just like, here's some more money. You know? What do you do? It's driving me nuts. Uh, I love her anyway. I, you know, but you, there's no words to tell your kids how much you love them, you know. And it doesn't stop us as parents from trying. And years ago, I was having to leave on a trip, and I was trying to let her know how I felt, you know. And I go, sweetie, I'm tucking her in. I go, I, I got to go away on a trip and just know that while I'm gone, you're in my thoughts and in my prayers and in my heart always. And I love you more than life itself. And I, I really felt like I was connecting to her, you know. It was really quiet, and the covers were pulled up tight, and she's looking up at me with these big beautiful blue eyes of hers, and after a moment, she goes, Dad? And I said, yeah. She goes, when I get older, am I going to have a lot of black hair in my nose, too? <laughs> <laughs> I pretended like it didn't bother me. I go, you, you mean like your mom? Because that's always been a, it's always a problem for us. Myself checked up. I'm, I'm fine. I had my physical, my big midlife man physical. And uh, not a lot of fun going on there for the big midlife man physical. That's always, <laughs> women seem to get a lot of delight out of me talking about them. And, ah, 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 it's not fun. If you're too young, you guys don't know what I'm talking. It's like a treasure hunt. Uh, <laughs> sort of a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of a thing. Uh, but I was really nervous about it. I could see it on my event horizon from the time I was about 30. And I didn't go in for the whole camera crew thing first. First, you have, to, you have to go in and just have the preliminary checkup before they run the whole camera lights and everything else up there. And uh, so, <laughs> very nervous about it. I go into the doctor's office, and I'm real nervous. He was very professional. He goes, Tom, just relax. This will be over before you know it. Hold on to the edge of the table there and just make the big monkey noise. And I was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I didn't, I didn't even know I could make a big monkey noise. <laughs> Apparently, though, I was pretty good at it because they gave me a sucker, which I thought was kind of, I thought that was not teasing you about that. So here's the real story. So I'm in there. I'm getting ready to have everything checked out. I hear the doctor behind me, and he goes, God, didn't I put my finger in your butt? I, I was like, wow, is that a heck of a coincidence? because I do that in my show. And I found myself going, hmm. <laughs> That's not true. Here's the truth, though, and I'm tired of lying to you. I never should have started. <laughs> Here's the truth. I'm in there. I'm getting ready to have everything checked out. I hear the doctor behind me, and I'm not making this up. This is, I swear to you, this is true. I hear the doctor behind me, and he goes, Oh, gross. I mean, that is wrong on so many different levels, you know. <laughs> Here I am in a strange doctor's office, you know. I'm feeling vulnerable. My pants are puddled around my ankles. He's got the glove on. Snap! Getting ready to grease up and go for it. I just thought, wow, that's some bad bedside manner. <laughs> I, uh, I probably should have warned him about the pearls. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Listen, you guys have a big cruise ahead of you. I'm honored to be a part of it. If you see me out there, please say hi. God bless you. Have a great cruise. Good night. Ladies and gentlemen.